another Moscow light terror attack in Russia. 15 people dead and over 25 injured in broad daylight. What happened in Russia's Dagestan? A series of coordinated attacks in Russia's Dagestan province has left at least 15 people dead and 25 injured. The violence unfolded in the cities of Durban and Makachkala, located approximately 120 kilometers apart. The target included places of worship and a police traffic stop. Among the victims were also seven law enforcement officers, including Mavludin Khildinbev, the head of Dagestan Lights Police Department. A priest and a church security guard were also killed. The priest, identified as a 66-year-old Father Nicole, had his throat slit. Additionally, four attackers, described as militants, were killed during the attack. The attack also hit multiple religious sites. In Makachkala, gunmen targeted the Swato Ospensky Sobor, a Russian Orthodox cathedral. During this attack, 19 people were logged inside the building but were later safely evacuated. Two synagogues, one in Durban and another in Makachkala, were also attacked. The Durban synagogue was set on fire with Molotov cocktails and according to the Israeli Foreign Ministry, it was burned to the ground. Fortunately, there were no reported casualties from the Jewish community as no worshipper was present during the attack. The law enforcement agencies of Russia have described the attack as adherent to an international terror organization, though no group has claimed the responsibility of the attack till now. The violence came months after the major terror attack on Moscow Concert Hall that left over 100 dead, raising concern about the potential surge in terror activities in the region. A significant law enforcement presence has been deployed in the area in response to the attack. The video footage shows armed officers in tactical gear outside the cathedral in Makachkala. The head of the Dagestan Republic has announced counter-operation codenamed Interception, which is right now underway. He has urged the public to remain calm, stating that the attacker aims to create panic and fear among the population. The Russian Investigative Committee has launched the terror investigation into the attack under the Russian Federation's criminal code. Authorities are working to establish the identity of the attackers and uncover all circumstances surrounding the incident. The attack has raised concern about the religious tensions in the region, particularly regarding the growing community of Christian and Jewish places of worship. It's worth noting that security around the synagogues in Dagestan has been increased following an anti-Semitic incident at the local airport in October. Now, as the situation continues to develop, local and national authorities are focused on maintaining order, investigating the attack and preventing further violence. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.